But we begin with a suburban professor getting a warm welcome this afternoon as she fights for her job tonight. Her so-called misdeed, wearing a hijab and showing support for Muslims. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. This is Dr. Larisha Hawkins, the only African-American tenured professor at Wheaton College. CBS 2's Mike Parker picks up her story live from our newsroom. Mike. Rob and Erica, Wheaton College is an evangelical Christian school where undergraduate students cannot drink, they cannot smoke, and dancing is closely monitored. Now, some say there's another prohibition to add to that list, public compassion for Muslims. Professor Larisha Hawkins, who's a Christian, announced on Facebook that she would wear a Muslim headscarf a hijab till Christmas to show solidarity with Muslim brothers and sisters. She's now been suspended from her job at Wheaton College and is speaking out. This Advent, I'm standing with my Muslim neighbors out of my love for Jesus and the love I believe he has for all of the world. We say On the Wheaton campus today, some 40 students and alumni gathered to demand that Professor Hawkins, known as Doc Hawk, be reinstated. We say Doc Hawk. They chanted and they prayed, then went inside and presented a letter to college president Philip Riken. We what believe that the college acted um, out of a reaction, of fear, rather than um, a reason. Jesus Christ calls us to love our brothers and sisters, and that's what Dr. Hawkins is trying to do. And there were counter protesters. This is not anything against Muslims. This is just simply saying that we do not worship the same God as Muslims. Hawkins quotes Pope Francis, who said of Muslims, we worship the same God. My actions were motivated by a desire to live out my faith. Period. And live out my faith in solidarity with my neighbor, who is a Muslim. Hawkins also said late today she hopes she can ultimately reconcile with her superiors at the college. In her words, I affirm the creed of the church. Live in the newsroom, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, thank you, Mike.